We've got a great start. Whenever we go and Snake get his best start, but Leslie's way much faster. He's using a bit of energy, and Max is on the inside of Snake, and Snake goes wide. She loses out on one position, so for now, Leslie and Max gain one position, and then Ocean Chief loses one. Tipsy stays in fifth. Sakaki gains two positions. Doctor stays. Dawa loses two. See, at the moment, if Ever Snacks can try to do something about this, we might have to go up to Snelly Hanky soon. As is getting pretty close on the back there, Leslie, who had a fantastic start, got past both of them. Doctor Uther on the back of Shaka. Oh, Vanier spins out and then he crashes, and he's out. Ever Snacks is looming in the background too. At this early stage, his soft ties are going to be way much faster than the mediums, but then later on, it's going to be the mediums that will be faster. Ever Snacks needs to move the bomb on. Now he's in PA. Ever Snacks is, is like. So Darion Shaka, he's been wanting to do this for some time Ooh, now. Ever Snacks breaks a bit late. Trying to make a move on Shakalaka, but he doesn't, and he doesn't, and he touches the inside curve, which is a bit high up. And Bowman's got him back. Bowman the advantage. On the inside, not on the outside, I do apologize. And Everstack is defending quite hard. And he defends it quite well, and he remains in P8. The Ocean Chief's putting pressure. We're going to go up to that battle. Currently, at the moment, Ocean Chief and Max splits because they got a Ferrari separating in between their Ferrari powered well, cars. Everstack just made a move on the Shakalak on the outside of turn one. I would Isn't say right? it's a bit. Yep. Easy does it on the outside. As the speed, as the DRS. But now will Max come back? The Ocean Chief is using energy as well. Looking to get a move on the inside, but he doesn't. He doesn't want to risk it. Yeah, and he's still ooh. pushing it for, on turns, and he does lose a bit of control of his Ferrari. Somebody. Retired and putting his bomb on. Tipsy with the DRS, looking to make a move on Max on the inside. Gets the move done. As Max is trying to get that position back. Go soft, medium soft. There's a yellow flag and Edward is out. In sector one. And it's a safety car. Wow, it's a safety car. Questioning why is the hard top, why is the soft tire so slow? <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, Leslie's, Leslie's coming in. in. Here we Snow go. He's coming in as well. Oh, so I made a mistake and he went on neutral gear in for some reason. Practically all the way up the road at the moment now. Almost a second or so after the restart, Ooh. everybody's caught sleeping, but here we go. Down he sp spins out onto straight. Which made him lose his position to boosted mess. Oh, Ocean Chief spins out! Wow! Ooh, the race leader, the championship the leader, has had a spin. And that's got to be in his own accord, I'd have to say as well, too, because they weren't close enough. He just made a move on Tipsy Bob, which he's now in first position. Last to first. This is working out very well for Ever Snacks. He, he will be very happy. Jacker into this corner? No. I think <laughs> uh, Snelly, Ocean, Snelly's let Ocean Chief through. Side of boost against himself to B3, but we're right. boosted now. Oh, boosted made a mistake going a bit wide. Max trying to make a move on the outside, but boosted has defended and blocked him. Being overtaken, already got one of those McLarens that's oh, going to need a Max bit of fixing. Made a yeah. good exit on that turn, making a move on the inside of boosted. It gets it done, and now it's in P4. So, Zuki. Oh, but he's gone wide. Oh, uh, that might have been an illegal overtake, right? It kind of looked like he had to let both of them through at once. Because uh, what he's going to do, of course, is unleash Leslie to try to catch Eversnacks and get within that DRS range of Eversnacks because he's just on the borderline of it right uh, now. Boost has gone around somewhere. He did indeed, and there's places in the PA now. Oh, that's unfortunate too for the Scotsman. Man that puts together all these fantastic packages here at... And now, out of these uh, pit stop, the, the Gladiators haven't made a pit stop because we're 16 or 28, so we're just over the halfway point. That's a quite a stretch, isn't it, to, to make those soft tyres go to the end? Yeah, it's going to be quite a stretch. He's going to be driving for 12. The Alfa Romeo sandwich. 
Yeah, Bolson should ride behind off Dower's gearbox. Looking to make a move on the inside, but he doesn't. So the Alpha Male boys are working together once again. Ever Snacks is slowly bringing in Ever Snacks. Remember, he was outside the DRS when he got past Tipsy Bob. And now he's clawing that one down. And speaking of Tipsy Bob, he's got max splits for company right now. Yeah. Behind the Alpha Romeo, well, in between. That's Dario's in the in the pit lane as now, so we're going to see those pit stops from those drivers that have to make a pit stop, of course. Those 18 lap tyres. I really hope my mic is not picking up some woman screaming outside my apartment. I <laughs> know, mate. So this is going to be crucial. 22 seconds to shack up. Should be in and out pretty easy. I don't think he got in there without any. And there is, I think that's Boosted. Boosted's above him, literally above him on the track. Behind boosted, so you would get some dirty air. Oh no! You know what it is? Oh. He's going back onto the mediums. If so he doesn't change, he will get disqualified. Yes. There's been a massive communication problem down there. This massive battle occurring between Tipsy Bob and Shaka. Because Tipsy Bob's got some fresh boots on, and he wants to get past up as quickly as possible. Yeah. Today it's not ever yeah. Tipsy Bob today. can't find a way past Shaka. Shaka's older tires. Shaka's going to make them go to the end. No doubt, maybe now. We'll see. His tires are, oh, they're still okay. 41%. And a handful of laps. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, 41%. And a handful of laps. Shouldn't be a problem. He's going to get a DOS and he's going to make a move easily done it. Yeah, there it is. Tipsy Bob finally got it done. There was a miscommunication in the pit lane, which he had to pin once again. And now he's going to have to fight once again. In that time to Eversnacks, as we can see, Eversnacks is gaining a few of a hundred of a second, but now Washington Jr. makes him move on the inside of Boosted and gets the move done. And what a fantastic camera angle they got from Cody's to get that too. He's got a few dead drivers. He's got both of the Aston Martins there to get past. And the Alphas are back together again. Look at this. Look That's at this. They're up. all on the track. Shaq has gone deep. There they are. Gets the driver's champion. So I, um, I'm sure Snelly's going to beat the widest Alfa Romeo on the planet Earth. Oh, Boosted oh. looking at dive bomb. Oh, that's Boosted going around. The German driver is going to try to get done. Look at this. Look at that. That's Snelly and Ocean Chief. are going to go side by side. And they're going to cover off this. They've done it before. Make it very difficult to overtake. Penalty. Oh, that's it. That's the one I was, I was worried about with him. That's a, that's pretty much cost his chances now of getting past these guys. Look at as we're getting close to the end of this race. Go ahead. Oh, we have a side by side battle between Jao and Boosted on sector one chicane. That makes him move from Boosted. And it was on the dangerous Going back to this battle. Oh, look at this. Have a snack now. Kind of on the inside. Ocean Chief. Now he's gone wide and always kept it out of the hole. Oh, wow. Absolutely a brilliant save. Save the day there. Is that because uh, Snelly has uh, got two warnings. But then again, too, it doesn't matter because of the fact that uh, we're seeing the Alpha Aston Martin there of uh, Shaka going the pit. So he might have got some damage. He has no front wing. Be very, very careful. Just bring this car home. You've got the penalties. Oh. Oh. oh, he's got to too bring much, too too quick on the bottle. Bring it home, leader. But we're going to go over to the man that's actually going to win this race, though, Leslie. He's back. He's back on top. We know he can can win some races, and he's done it brilliantly this evening. Twenty-one medium lies. Leslie wins. Abby Dabby Grand Prix. Stop under his belt. If he was a little bit early in the championship, he could probably be taking this one. But he's going to be bringing it to these guys, and he's maximised. The amount of points he possibly can with the two championship contenders ahead of him, all the way down.